Hey yo, it's me again. Let me see where the microphone's coming from. I got myself a new headset. Um, so I don't know where. Oh, it's. Ow! ow. Oh my god, my cat! <laughs> my cat decided to call the shit out of me. <laughs> oh god. Well, let me see if I can turn my webcam on this time and then we'll get going. Yes, we will. We'll get going. Ah, there I am. <laughs> she pre she pretends to struggle that she can't get up or can't jump up onto my lap, and then she digs her claw and says, "I got a new headset, as you can see." And I'm like, Ugh. "So, um, today's chess lesson video. It's another day. It's called Thursday. Did you know it was Thursday? I didn't know it was Thursday. Well, anyway, hey, oh, it's me again. <laughs> so." Um, maybe I should do these on live stream and on Twitch since, well, anyway, what I wanted to go in about today is, um, like I was explaining before, chess openings, um, this kind of emphasizes the point that I was trying to make. That. Openings are so important that it has its own separate section on most chess websites. Chess.com has openings. Uh, they don't have middles and they don't have end endings. They have openings. So that should tell you that you really need to know your opening. Because if someone is playing an opening against you, you need to know how to play it. Um, it's, it's extremely important. Like 9 times out of 10. You are going to have to play an opening. And you're going to know how to play against an opening. Uh, which opening is best against the other. And. Um, like there's a whole. Range of openings. As you can see. E4 is the popular one. Like, this is this White's first move, is d4, knight f3, like all the possible variations for White's first move. And he goes through it. Like, the Juan Lopez opening is um, the Italian and I wasn't aware of. That's kind of similar to what I do, except um, I go bishop first. And, uh, the Sicilian knight off variation. Is extremely popular. Um, Gary Kasparov and Nigel Short had um, in the nineties. They had a uh, Nigel Short was the English grand uh, chess grandmaster, and uh, Gary Kasparov was Russian at the time. Um, he was playing for Russia, and they were playing for the World Chess Championship. Um, the Sicilian Night Elf variation is very popular. And as you can see, the, it gives you the stats. And opening for white is, white has more advantage and there's more wins with white uh, than it is for black. Black can win 32% of the time. You know, it, it, it's fairly even. Um, you gotta know the openings. So... The opening is, oh, it won't let me do it, but um, th there's nothing to see. I would have to, I wish there was a just an opening that I can show you. But, um, you know, it, it shows you the first moves and um, you can explore the games. Bobby Fischer, Gary Kasparov, that's exactly the person I was going to. So, you... If you want to emulate one of your heroes, by all means, Bobby Fischer, Gary Kasparov, just because someone came up with it doesn't mean you can't make an opening yourself. And, um, th thank you. Um, I was about to say that there is female grandmasters that you can, you know, steal an opening from. Um, Gary Kasparov, I really, I, I grew up studying this guy. So let me see if I can. What? 
There he is. <laughs> so these I am hoping is all the they got the Scandinavian one. Where's the nineteen ninety ones? Like when I was learning to play, like when I was a wee lad and I was still here you go, the nineteen ninety five, the Sicilian night off variation. I, I love watching this. Um so these they have for twelve games that they had to play. Um you can actually watch these on YouTube. Um they do have the chess games on YouTube. Um, let me switch to my uh, chess channel. Because I believe I have them on my light playlist. If not, I'm going to. But I... If not, it's definitely going to be on my history. If not, I'll just... I will search for it. But um, Ah, here we go. Short vs. Kasparov 1993 game. Exactly. So you heard it right there. 99 times he plays E4. Like the, You have an opening that you like and you're going to stick with it. So they were actually playing this game, game 3. Um, yeah, it's 95, 95. So let's take a look. No, I don't want to turn a uh, blocker. So, Nigel Shaw has right. And as you just heard, 99 times he is going to play E4, which is what it does. So, if you have an opening that you like, good. You've got the first 20 moves, or the first 10 moves, already planned out that you don't have to think about. You you need to have a lot of, you need to empty out your head and mind a lot when you're going to play chess. So, e4, c5, knight f3, same for six moves every single time. And a6 is what makes it the knight of variation. I really studied this as an opening myself to play as white. Um. It's a good opening to learn and it's a good opening to study when you're starting out because it's solid. Um, it doesn't it doesn't expose yourself to an attack or any dangers. Um, it, it's not it's not something that can easily be overcome by by black. Black has to know what they're doing to be able to beat it. Um, Sometimes it me allows the king on the right hand side to um, castle queen side and do an attack on the king side. This one ends in a draw. This time he castle king side. Like you have, you, this opening presents you options. I mean, it's good to look at these games, and it learns you a lot. And like I said, I, I, I'm the furthest thing away from what you would call a grandmaster. I'm not, I'm not that good. But I, I'm better than a beginner. But I'm not quite as grandmaster. I'm like intermediate. 
Um, so the things that I am trying to teach you and how to actually play chess is to compete on a level of an intermediate base so you can actually progress up to the professional level if you actually wanted to and um, you know if, if you actually want to make a career out of chess you need to start playing every single day and treat it like a job um, it, that depends if you actually you know so I'm actually going to go ahead and create the club now if I can. Oh, I can't. I actually have to be a member. Well, I'll think about doing this another time. If I actually become a member, I'll create a club and um, I'll actually think about actually creating a chess club so we can actually start having teams and stuff. Um, and then we can actually start playing matches against other people's clubs and it's actually quite kind of fun um, but so back to the point that I was trying to make the openings are extremely important you have to know it you cannot under you cannot underestimate it like my openings as you can saw f4 is my openings as white And uh, against Fodex Squad, it's always these are all the different moves that he's been playing against me: b6, b5, f6, a6. The correct one: white wins 67% of the time, black only 33. Um, is the d5 answer. Now, as black. So I guess F four is not gonna work because let's see, let's see if we can do uh, we did daily chess. So those are my games. So we can look at other people players. We can have a look at openings. Um, you know, you can search any opening that you want. You got King's Gambit. You got the D four. The Queen's Gambit is the one that almost everyone. Now, um, since I, I did want to look, I actually did want to try and find one particular opening. Um, because he likes Dragon Teeth, Verdict, I actually wanted to show you the stone wall. Um, let's see if I can find it on YouTube. Okay. Are very similar to each other. You can do the stone wall. And uh, this is basically the setup, okay? So regardless of what, what Black is doing, because we're going to uh, move our F pawn up to, our D pawn up to, and then our C and E pawn. So, by all means, you can watch this and um, and view it later. By all means, uh, there's also tons and tons of um, videos on this. So, verdict. Um, since you like what you call dragon teeth, um, and the um, when it's actually called the stone wall attack, this is the opening that you should be doing. Like he said, regardless of what black is doing, this is what you should be doing as white. So let me see if we can... Dutch defense. I didn't realize, realize it was the part of the Dutch defense. Um... Okay, so it's Dutch defense, stone wall variation. So it's D4, F5, 
C4, that's interesting. I thought it was supposed to be C3 and... But, oh, it's a different variation, though. So, as right, this is one particular opening that you should be able to master and look at. And so, it's only like seven moves, and that's your opening St Dutch defense. I, I think this is the black. It is the stone wall defense for black. Um, let's see. I thought the stone wall. Oh, duh, yeah. The stone wall is on black's side this time, not white. So, uh, this is what the stone wall looks like for white. And right here. And so, by all means, go ahead and look at this on YouTube. Um, I will link it in the description. Um, this is the stone wall for black. Um, because you like this particular opening, the Dragon Teeth, as you call it, it's actually the stone wall. Um, this is... Um, This is something that you should learn uh, and study. Um, yes, it's homework. Um, so, by all means. Also, fission test. The fission trainer improves your coordinate with coordinate training and, div and uh, identify squares or make moves. So here we go. D two, E three, E six is the B one, B five, B three. That's it there. G five, A four. B seven Yay twelve out of twelve <laughs> So let's hide the coordinates shall we let's test my old brain power G two E five E two H eight C eight A one E5, E4, G6, H5, B5, D1, H1, H5, G6. This will help you break the box fission because it will get you to help look after the entire board. So let's look at the moves. Rook H4. Yeah, I did. It's not. It's not letting me click on it. H4 is over here. Rook H4. C5 is hit. Yeah, it's not, it's not let me click on it, it's broken. Oh, I got an achievement. I doctor. <laughs> 3D glasses. How do you like 3D pieces? <laughs> Tactics newbie. Hooray! I solved a puzzle.
Let's try that again, shall we? Let's see if we can do the move. King G6. Yay! Now we can move. Queen A5. King A1. King A5. Rook E2, which is here. Rook E4. Rook A5. Queen F8. Bishop E8. Bishop C6. <laughs> so that's something else that you can do uh, solo chess it's um, this is kind of a weird scenario this isn't exactly correct for what it says you got to capture a piece with every move until just one piece remains no piece may capture more than two times per puzzle if the king is on the board, it must be the final piece. Try for a perfect run in challenge mode. Um, so king takes queen. It doesn't matter that they're the same color. So queen takes queen, king takes queen. Queen takes knight, king takes queen. Um, see, this is the odd one because one piece has to take twice to be able to capture the other one. So knight takes one. I don't know if they meant take more than once twice in a row. But then this has to take and then that has to take and then this has to take so that piece is taken twice so it, it's not a buying it, it's not doing what it says it's supposed to do it I think it's actually broken so knight um, king takes knight takes king takes Bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, king takes. I mean, these aren't really too hard. They get harder. Um, that's what she said. Did it then again and again same piece move and captured more than twice um, See, it, it doesn't abide by the rules that it gave out. I mean, I mean, it's a useful thing. Don't get me wrong. It's a good training tool. So now it's not doing it when it did it on every other one. Well, let's have a look. So you can look at Master Games, which is basically what we did before opening. We can go with Advanced. Um, but yeah, that's really 
I mean that that is really all you need to do. Um, you need to look. You need to improve the, your vision. You do need to look at the entire board, and you absolutely have to know your openings. You have to have an opening memorized before you come to a board. Um, so, verdict. Go ahead and look at those Dutch variation and look up this video and watch this particular video. Um, if you like the dragon teeth and the, uh, well, what you call dragon teeth, which is actually the stone wall, um, then these videos you are gonna want to watch and learn. Um, again, this is this Dutch stone wall defense. So that will actually tell you how to play it as black this will tell you how to play it as white if you memorize these openings you will stand like an 80 percent chance of winning every single game i mean you've got to know the middle and the ending but you you know you're one third you want a th third out of the way to winning all right guys so i'm gonna leave it there um that's the other chess video for now. So, adios amigos!